A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hello, Silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, there's danger on the trail ahead. Hail Silver! Away! The time was 1865. A great nation was just beginning to recover from four disastrous years of civil war. Thoughts, dreams, and hopes turned to America's last frontier, that vast expanse of land between Kansas and the sea. Thousands of settlers and immigrants joined the steady, increasing march to the west. Some traveled by saddle horse or mule back, but most of them were part of large wagon trains drawn by yokes of sturdy oxen. A never-ending cavalcade of pioneers streaming westward, ever westward along the Oregon Trail. They came from everywhere. St. Louis, Omaha, St. Joe, all part of a dusty pageant moving slowly along a trail marked by tall wooden poles. As though they were sentinels, the poles stood rigidly at attention, bearing a thin strand of iron wire. It was the first transcontinental telegraph line. What do you want, son? I've been counting them poles. There's sure an awful lot of them. Twenty five every mile. What's the wire for, Pa? Telegraph. What's telegraph? Yeah, let her know us. I can readily answer that question, son. Well, it's got electricity in it. It talks. Folks call it Creighton's Lightning Line. Why? Well, because a fellow named Ed Creighton strung it up. How does it talk? Don't ask so many fool questions. You want to know how any more about that telegraph contraption? Ask Print Maynard. He works for the company. How can I ask Print anything when he spends all his time riding a saddle horse alongside Sheila? <laughs> well, son, if I was a smart young fellow like Print Maynard, I know a girl as pretty as your sister Sheila. I'd be riding with her, too. <laughs> When will we get to Fort Laramie? Well, I'll uh, make it tomorrow sometime. Can't be over 25 miles from here. That's uh, Chimney Rock right up ahead. Gee. Tim, oh, Tim. Hey, your mom's calling you. Oh, I was going to ride my pony up to the head of the train and ask Print about the telegraph. You go back and help your mom. Print and Sheila don't want no kid like you hanging around. Jump. Up, Jim. Jump. Jump. How do you like the view from here, Sheila? See, that's Chimney Rock over there, and the river just beyond it. The big cloud of dust is our wagon trail. Oh, Print, it's wonderful. 
Somehow I never thought it would be like this. Miles and miles of rolling hills, long rivers... Yes. And it won't be any time at all till Western Union has lines all over this country. I may be even up into Oregon. You're proud of your job, aren't you, Prince? Oh, sure. I'm not important, just an operator with a repair crew. But I'm part of something that's making the West a better place to live in. Well, isn't the work dangerous? Ever since we left Omaha, whenever you leave our wagon train to inspect the telegraph lines, I worry about you. Do you really? I mean, worry about me? Of course I do. I... Well, I, I mean, well, there are wild Indians. The scouts reported sighting three or four of them only yesterday afternoon. Oh, three or four Indians won't cause any trouble. And even if they did, your pa's the boss of the wagon train. There's a lot of men with them who are good shots. Well, that doesn't stop me from worrying. Uh, Sheila. Yes, Prent? A few minutes ago, you said something about how someday people would settle all over the wilderness, have farms and homes. Yes. Well, Western Union is sending me out to Bitter Creek Station. It's the other side of Fort Laramie. Of course, a telegraph operator doesn't make much money, but I could save it. I could homestead some land, and I could... I mean, we... <laughs> Shucks, I guess I'm kind of mixed up. No, you aren't, Prent. And... And the answer is yes. Gee, Sheila, I Prince, can't... what's that? Indians. Look, coming over the ridge, hundreds of them. And the wagon train is... Oh, Prince. Sue, Indians. They're on the warpath. we got to ride back to the wagon, Sheila, and ride fast. Get up, boy. Hurry up, circle them. Hey, hey, hey. And hit the teams. Do your break the best works. Break out every gun you got. Look at them. The murdered redskins. They're going to circle us, then close in. Some of them are packing rifles. Keep down. Down, I say. Make every shot count. Oh, Mel, I... Keep your head down, Moa. Where's Tim? The back of Clash Johnson's wagon. He's safe enough, I guess. Oh, Mel, Sheila. She and Prince Maine are drawn on ahead of the train, and one of... The only thing to do is pray they're safe. Don't come back into this. Oh, but Mel... Mel, if Sheila should... No, steady, Ma. You've got to keep fighting. Just take no other way. The Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan Reed, riding north toward the Bighorn country, reined up their horses on a hillside trail. Oh, oh, so oh, 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 oh. Hey, golly, there's the telegraph line. I've heard about it, but that's the first one I've seen. Yes, Dan. Toto and I were up here several years ago when Mr. Creighton was surveying the route. How does telegraph work? Well, the wire carries electrical impulses from a key at the point of origin to a sounder where they're received. Impulses? It's a code. Combinations of dots and dashes for every letter in the alphabet. Oh, golly. Telegraphy is something I want you to learn, Dan. It's going to play a big part in building the West. Gee, I'd like to learn it, but I think it'll take... Kimosabe. Little... What's the matter, Toto? This... Gunfire. This land of Ogallagala, Sioux. Plenty warriors. Yes, I... Come on, Silver. Get him up and come. Oh, 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 steady there. Print, look. They got the wagon train surrounded. Come on, Tom, Tim, they'll be... Oh, Print, we've got to do something. Well, we can't do anything down there, Sheila, except get killed. There must be 200 redskins in that bunch. Oh, I... Three of them have sighted up. They're coming this way. Look. Stay behind me, Sheila. When they get within gun range. Look, the man on the white horse. He's not an Indian, and he's wearing a mask. Must be one of those renegade whites. And they're worse than engines. I'm going to... Wait, hold your fire. Whoa, hold, 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 hold. Three of you against one gun. You'll kill us, but I'm going to make my first shot count. Close to your gun. We don't want to kill anybody, least of all you. Well, you're masked. You're riding with a redskin. Quick, tell me. Are you and the girl part of that wagon train down there? We just rode up ahead a few minutes ago. It's a war party of Sioux. Sure, the but... five of us don't stand a chance against them. We need help. Lots of it. Everybody in the train will be murdered. There's only some way to... Wait. What's that strap to your saddlebag? A portable telegraph key. I work for Western Union. Can't you use it to cut in on the line? Call Fort Laramie? There's soldiers garrisoned there. Well, sure I could, but look. The line's down there near the we'll wagon. take that chance. There's no time to waste. Come on, Silver. Get, get up, boy. Oh, what's oh, 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 Come on, we'll have to work fast before some of those outriders spot us. 
Now, there's a pole. Can you climb it? I think so. Help him, Dan. Sure. What can I do? Keep your horse quiet and pray that a Sioux warrior doesn't look over this way. Hurry, boy. Here, you grab one end of this piece of wire. Sure. Push it into the ground as far as you can. I'll reel out the rest of it and shinny up the pole. All right. Here I go. He was coming. Sioux see us. Five warriors. Ride this way. I was afraid of that, Sandy big fella. Oh. Move over there next to Dan at the bottom of the pole. Wait, I'll come down. No, stay there. Have you tapped the wire? Yes, it's... The line's a lie. Then stay there and send the message. I don't know, I'll keep circling you and try to hold off these two. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Out. Use your gun, Tonto. Ah. Close. I've got to get this through. I've got to. That's it. Just a little more. That's it. We're coming. Oh, 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 oh. I guess they didn't like that. They've turned away. Sue, not like even fight. Run away plenty fast. Oh, you did drive them off. Sheely, all right, honey? Not a scratch. Did your message go through? Oh, I'm sure it did. Now, if there are any troops at Fort Laramie... They'll be here before long. You did a good job sending that message with arrows and bullets flying all around you. I did. Oh, no, it was all you and that Indian and the boy who helped me. But most of the Sioux are still around the wagon train. You're right across the ridge and find out. I'm out up, all of you. Yeah. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Get him up. The Indian, they've gone. But there's smoke. Maybe some of the wagons burned. Oh, 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 oh. Sheila, oh, mother. Yeah, friend. I'm glad you and Sheila with. Who's your smash critter? I don't know, Mr. Bryan. But he and his friends helped us run off some redskins. I telegraphed to Fort Laramie for soldiers. Uh, thank heaven. And what happened here? I don't know exactly. We put up a fight. They had us outnumbered, but all at once they quit shooting and ran away. Were any of your men killed, Mr. Bryan? Oh, six or eight. I... Say, who are you, anyway? Those murdering redskins. Maybe it wasn't all the engines' fault, Trent. Not all the... What do you mean? There was too many of them to be just a wintering war party. I think somebody in this train tipped them off. Oh, I can't believe that a white man would... Well, who do you think it was? Eight men are missing. Six of them are dead. Do you know the names a of the... A mule skinner named Terrell and another hombre named Lynch. We can mosey back to the wagons now. Shooting's over. Keep back of this line of brush till we get close enough to sneak in. Uh, supposing somebody spots what us. What does they do? It was an engine raid and we took cover, that's all. Chief Black Kettle and his brave sure hightailed it. These pilgrims did a lot more shooting than we figured. Well, it wasn't our fault. Black Kettle will get another chance the other side of Laramie. Look, soldiers. Cavalry from the fort. Now, how did they find... I know how it happened. Print Maynard, the brass pounder for Western Union, must have sneaked off and sent a message. Telegraph, eh? Lynch, the next time you and me and Black Kettle plan a little party, we'd better see that the telegraph contraption ain't working. Yeah, we'll... Hey, let's not go up there now. Why not? Everybody's talking to the soldiers. They won't notice us. It ain't that. See the tall hombre on a white horse over near Bryant's wagon? Yeah, I... Well, he's wearing a mask. Never saw an owl hoot traipse around in daylight in front of soldiers that and wearing a mask. That critter's no owl hoot. At least I don't think he is. You know him? Well, he knows me. That's worse. Oh, there's an engine with him. Look, they're riding off. Yeah. But if those two varmints are going to hang around this wagon train, we'll have to use a different plan. Why? They're poison. Plain Poison. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Proceeding with the wagon train to Fort Laramie, the Lone Ranger asked Print Maynard to teach Dan telegraphy. In the days that followed, while equipment was being repaired at the fort, a close friendship developed between Dan and Print. Golly, Print. Must take a long time to learn all those telegraph dots and dashes. To do it quickly, I mean, like you do. Oh, no, not so long, Dan. I'll loan you my practice key. Oh, gosh, thanks. Oh, I'm going to be moving on to Bitter Creek Station tomorrow. But I'll introduce you to the operator here at the fort. He'll help you, too. Fine. His name's Jess Abbott. Oh, he's in the telegraph room now. Come on. Hi, Jess. Hello, friend. I thought the company was sending you over to Bitter Creek. I won't leave till tomorrow. Uh, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Dan Reed, Jess Abbott. Hello, Dan. Howdy, Mr. Abbott. Dan's got a hankering to learn Morse code. I'm going to loan him my practice key. He'll be around the fort here till Mr. Bryant's wagon train pulls out. So I told him you might give him a few pointers. Sure, glad to help. Oh, just a minute. Well, what's it saying, friend? Oh, some news from New York. Uh, Jess is writing it out. Look at this. I say, this is news. What? The Great Eastern and Atlantic Cable has just been completed. That means a telegram can be sent clear to England. Oh, gee. Now, here's another one. Relayed from Washington, D.C. Yeah? The state of Tennessee has applied for readmission to the Union. Good. Well, you're pretty busy, Jess, so Dan and I... Wait, there's a personal message coming over the wire. You can deliver it for me. Sure. Here. I think I saw Colonel Cody out there in the main room. Uh, you, give him, you give him this. Say, Dan, where's that mass fellow you were riding with last week? He looked like an outlaw, but he didn't talk like one when he asked me to help you with telegraphy. Why, he's not an outlaw. He and Tonto are camped not far from here. I ride out and see him every day. Who is he? The, the man in the mask. He's just a man who, who believes that every time he helps someone who deserves help, he's making the West a safer and better place to live in. Making the West a safer and better... Oh, I've never heard of anyone like him before. Say, when can I start practicing with the telegraph key? Oh, anytime, Dan. I'll leave it with Jess. All right. I've got to run along now, but I'll see you before you leave for Bitter Creek tomorrow. Oh, sure, sure. I'll be busy myself. Got a lot of things to talk over with Sheila. The days that followed lengthened into weeks, and Bryant's wagon still waited at Fort Laramie while broken equipment was repaired. True to his promise, Dan Reed spent his time in long hours of practice with Print Maynard's telegraph key. Now, let's see now. Dot dash. That's A. Dash and three dots. It's B. C is two dots, space, dot. Uh, better try it again. Dot, dash. Dash and three dots. Two dots, space, dot. Dot, dash. Dash, three dots. Two dots, space, dot. Dash, two dots. Dot, dot, dash, dot. Dash, dash, dot. In the meantime, deep in the hills north of Fort Laramie, two white men rode into a Sioux Indian camp. Oh, 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 oh boy, oh, there. Oh, God, sensible. You come. Yeah. Tell Chief Black Kettle we want to see him pronto. Me show way. You follow. Come on, Terrell. This TP, Chief Black Kettle. You go in, make talk. All right. Let me do all the talking, Terrell. Yeah. Chief Black Kettle. Oh. We ride many miles, bring good news. Uh, you make talk. Black Kettle, listen. We just found out the white man's wagon train will leave Fort Laramie tomorrow morning. Those are the same white men who killed so many of your braves. Uh. The first stop will be Bitter Creek Station. I figure we can waylay him between there and the fort. Uh, that not good. Singing wire on that trail. White man talk a heap. Bring soldier. And a telegraph? Uh, don't worry about that, Chief. To start with, there are only a few men at the fort now. Most of them are up at Whiskey Gap. And we'll fix the talk a heap by cutting it. Uh. That'll bring one of them young telegraphers out of Bitter Creek to repair it. We set the trap and Bryant's wagons roll right into it. You say no talk a heap. Then Black Kettle say good. Take plenty brave. Yeah, it might not be a good idea for you and the braves to wait right there in the trail while we set the trap. Advanced scouts in the train might spot you. 
Now, you wait on the other side of the ridge till you get a signal from Terrell and me. What signal? Why, uh, three shots. Three gunshots close together. And you ride in, you savvy? Three gunshots close together. That's it. You'll get revenge, Black Kettle. And me and Terrell will get the freight off of them wagons. The wagon train just left, and I... Well, what's the matter, Jess? I don't know. I don't feel so good. Oh, that's too bad. Why don't you go over to the barracks and lie down? I'll take over the shift for you. Oh, would you, Dan? There won't be anything coming over the wire tonight. Sure, go ahead. Give me a good chance to try my hand at talking with print up at Bitter Creek. Oh, thanks, Dan. Thanks a lot. Hello, Dan. You here all alone? <laughs> yeah, Jess didn't feel so good. So I'm standing in the shift for him. Getting in some practice, huh? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, but I can't get Print to answer me. I've been trying for two hours. Two hours? No Western Union operator is ever away from his post that long. Then why doesn't Bitter Creek answer? There, see? Well, that's strange. I don't see why. Unless the line is broken and Print's gone out to repair it. Golly, you think maybe I, somebody... I don't know, Dan. But I'm going to find out. Donald's waiting for me outside. He and I are right up to Bitter Creek now. <laughs> This is the spot, Terrell. Be busy with that axe. Chop down three or four of those poles. Yeah. <laughs> Telegraph can't work without wires. Oh, what's the oh, oh. oh. This is Bitter Creek Station, Toto. Steady. Uh, no light. Print Maynard not here. Now we'll find out. Come on. The place is deserted. It doesn't look like there's been anyone here for quite a while. I'll try the line. It's dead. Maybe telegraph fella go out to fix it. It's undoubtedly where he is. But we have no way of knowing whether the break is north or south of here. And what we do, Kimosabe? Ryan's wagon train is heading this way from the fort. And we'll ride south. Maybe that's where print is. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. There's the brake tunnel. See? Those poles have been chopped down. Ah. You think so, chopping? No. You can't chop down telegraph poles with a tomahawk. Whoever did this job used an axe and... Whoa, whoa, Silver. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just as I thought, Tonto. Ah. The Indians wouldn't do this unless they... All right, they... Schwabres, I've got you covered. Reach. Lynch, that ain't the brass pounder from Bitter Creek. It's that mass critter. I see who it is, and if he That's don't... That's what you think. Oh. Cover that other man, Toto. Ah, uh, me get him. Sam Lynch, huh? This is the answer to the broken telegraph line. Oh. Shut up. Use some rawhide, Toto. Uh -huh. Either hands and feet, I'll cover you. Uh, me fix my... Uh, oh, there must have been some special reason for breaking this line. What was it? You're a smart hombre. You figured out... If there were any Indians around here, I'd think it was another one of your planned raids on the wagon. Ah, there'll be Indians here, plenty of them. You fix that. Is that so? When you tried them free shots, you hung your scalp on a Sioux war belt. So oh, it's Sioux, is it? Yeah. You might have the drop on us now, but when Black Kettle and his braves get here, all they were waiting for was the sound of three shots, Shut up, and Terrell. then they'll... You'll find out quick enough. Why should... Oh, now I understand. Brian's wagon train. Yeah, and it's something you can't stop. Take more than them two pop guns of yours to hold off over a hundred Sioux Braves. Otto, uh -uh. they're telling the truth. The wagon train will ride right into a trap. Now that's sure smart figuring. We can only get soldiers from the fort to... Otto, keep these two covered. I'll be right back. And what you do? I'm the first telegraph pull that's left standing south of here and try to send a message. How you send message without telegraph key? The line's alive. From here to the fort, I can break the wire and send Morse code by touching the ends together. <laughs> Gosh, line's still dead. What? Well, well, it must be Print. He's calling here, but it doesn't sound like Print sending it. Golly, I gotta get that message. Line cut five miles south of Bitter Creek. Sioux. Great danger for wagons. Send help. Dan. Jumper. Well, he said, Dan, that message was for me. Well, how would Print know that I... 
Golly, it wasn't Print. That was the Lone Ranger. I've got to tell the colonel to get soldiers. Lynch was telling the truth, Tato. Here come the Sioux. You send message on telegraph? I sent it, Tato. But I don't know whether anyone heard it. Mm, what we do? We've got to reach that wagon train before the Sioux get to it. Steady, big fella. Hope that soldiers from the fort are right behind us. Uh, what about troops? We leave them here. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. The soldiers, Tato. The cavalry troop from the fort. Ah, look. Sue, see him. Run out of the way. Oh, 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 oh. Dan, I'm glad to see you. Are you the one who got my message? Golly, yeah. Hey, I'll just send it from Bitter Creek. No, Dan. I went below the break in the line, which was caused by Lynch and Terrell, and sent it from the top of a telegraph pole. Gee, how could you do that? I'll tell you about it later. Well, everything seems to be all right now. The wagon train's safe. The Sioux won't attack again. The colonel told me he's detailing soldiers to escort it north. You said something about Lynch and Terrell. What about them? The soldiers know where they are. The Indians haven't already found them. Come on, Silver. Get them up. Get up out. Print, they've gone. Dan Reed and the man with the mask. The Indian, too. Yeah, I wanted to see him and tell Dan the reason I wasn't at Bitter Creek was because I was out repairing a break in the line north of the station. I wonder who he is, Print, the man with the mask. I asked Dan the same question. And all he'd say was that his friend was someone who's trying to make the West a better and safer place to live in. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.